Yo, what is up everybody? It is your boy Cortlandia and I am back with another tutorial. This time I'm going to be taking you guys through PVA Creator and PVA Forwarder. So let's hop right in. Once you open up PVA Creator, go ahead and hop into the settings tab. And what we're going to want to do right away is go to this little button that says visit website. Go ahead and click that. It's going to take you to smsgen.com. This is the SMS provider that PVA uses. Go ahead, create an account, and then to add balance, simply hit the add funds button. It's going to bring you to the add funds page. Here you can specify how much credit you want to add to your account. Simply change this to whatever you want. The only payment option that works is Bitcoin. If you have no way of sending or purchasing Bitcoin, download Coinbase on your phone. You can link up your bank account and send Bitcoin instantly. Go ahead, click continue. This QR code is going to pop up. Simply scan that thing and send your Bitcoin. You're going to receive an email verification when those funds hit your account. Once you've done that, go back to the SMS Gen homepage and you're going to see the SMS Gen API key and Clip Tester API key. Simply copy and paste those into PVA Creator. After pasting those API keys into the settings tab, we're going to briefly go over all the other settings. Most of the default settings that PVA has set are gonna be just fine for what you're doing. I've only changed three things in the settings tab. I've unchecked use first name and last name as email username. I have left don't add numbers to the username unchecked. And I have also changed the amount of browsers I have open at any given time. Most of the errors that I receive when generating accounts are gonna be username already exist errors. I have left both of these unchecked to try and throw some variation into the profile names that I am generating. I also changed the number of browsers from two to five just to try and increase my work flow and increase the amount of tasks that I can run at any given time. Besides those three things, I've left everything as is. Now we can hop into the proxies tab real quick. This tab is pretty self-explanatory. To import proxies, all you're going to do is hit this import button up in the middle. Go ahead and make sure that you have a proxy list that is saved as a TXT file. Go ahead and choose which one you want to use and hit open. It's gonna auto import all of those proxies for you. In the proxies tab, you can also test all of your proxies to make sure that they're working. If you do test your proxies and end up with quite a few disabled or failed proxies, you can go over to the delete button and delete both of those things. You can also change the amount of accounts that are gonna be created for each individual proxy. I usually recommend that you keep the amount of accounts created per proxy to about one or two, depending on what kind of proxy you're using. If you're gonna be using lower quality, cheaper residential proxies, I usually recommend that you keep this number at one. If you're using higher quality data center proxies or IPv6s, you can get away with running two to three accounts per proxy. To change the amount of accounts created per proxy, simply change this value here and click update. All the proxies that you're gonna be using within PVA Creator are gonna carry over to PVA Forwarder. Just be sure to get a proxy plan that is gonna last you a little while. Don't purchase proxies that are gonna expire after a day because you won't be able to use the same proxies that you create an account with to also forward them with. We can now move on to the recovery emails tab. You have two options here. You can either use your own emails as recovery emails simply by importing them, or you can create random recovery emails. If you wanna create your own, simply follow the format guide on the right hand side of the screen. We'll start out with a name followed by four random numbers followed by a random noun and we'll do at gmail.com and then we're going to create 100 of them once you hit add you're going to see that there are a bunch of randomly generated recovery emails following the format above similar to the proxies tab we can choose to disable each recovery email after a specific amount of accounts has been generated to do so you can just change this value here and hit update. Once you figure out how to do the formatting of these recovery emails, it's pretty easy. So we can now move on to the failed accounts tab. And here we're not gonna see anything because we're not actively running any tasks. But essentially this tab is just gonna show you what accounts have failed upon generation and why. Since we have both the SMS Gen API key and a clip test API key, we're actually able to clip test all of our email accounts. To do so, go to the complete accounts tab and select a handful of them. All you're going to do is hit this button up top that says clip tester. 
and hit yes. Let this thing run. It's gonna essentially let you know whether or not Google has clipped those accounts. Once that clip test is done running, it's gonna bring up this clip test window, letting you know that it's complete. It's gonna show you how many you've tested, how many are working and how many are clipped. I have no clip, so I'm gonna hit no. What you can also do in this tab is open each individual inbox. Uh, simply just find whichever one you wanna open and hit this open inbox button. In this tab, you'll also be able to export all of your Gmails that you've created into a CSV file. To do so, simply select them all or select which ones you want to export and hit the top right actions button. You can choose what format you want to use. You can also delete your accounts or assign new proxies. Moving on, we're going to skip additional tasks until we start forwarding and we're going to go to live log. Live log is going to show you what the bot is doing actively when you're running tasks. That's all it's going to do. Stats is just going to show you how many Gmails you've created and what time frame. Now we can finally head to the generate accounts tab. Once we're in the generate accounts tab, we have a couple options we could play with. You can either choose a specific country or you can choose random countries. PVA recommends that you pull from the 19 cent random country pool. It seems to do the best in my opinion. I've also experimented a little bit with the 29 cent random country pool and I haven't noticed a big difference between the two. Once you've chosen what pool to pull from, simply change this value to whatever you want. I've always left the culture as English. Once you do all of that, simply hit add and it will bring up all these email tasks. To start your tasks, all you're gonna do is hit the start button in the bottom right hand corner and it's gonna start generating all these emails. So that's everything you need to know about PVA Creator. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. In a few days, I'll be posting the PVA forwarding guide. So stay tuned. Shouts out to my Krabby fam. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Peace.